My name is Hoash De Wakia, and uh, it is October, no, it's, is it October? It's September, October 22nd? October, yeah. O October? October 23rd. 23rd. On October 22nd, a group of my brothers and sisters and I went out to go pray over the burials of our ancestors uh, in North Dakota here right off the Standing Rock Reservation when we were confronted by uh, officers of the Martin County Police Department, members of the Homeland Security, and the National Guard who swept on us with noise, uh, sound machines, uh, water cannons. We were maced, we were batoned, we were corralled like animals, and we were assaulted physically Verbally, we were terrorized. We had helicopters flying over us, a little bit above head level. Uh, they were probably about maybe 15 feet off of the ground, and they swarmed us and swarmed us and swarmed us. They had the police, uh, the Morton County Police airplane out there flying and checking and making sure none of us ran away. We were assaulted on non-private lands, on public lands. And when I say we were assaulted, we were assaulted. We were praying there. We sat and sang songs and dropped tobacco. And many of us were on our knees, actually, in humble prayer when they decided to cut through the line that they had put themselves on and come and attack us. They, as they told us to walk away, and as we walked away, they started grabbing people from the collar and jerking them down to the ground uh, hitting people's heads on rocks on the earth, on the solid hard earth. Uh, they came, after they did that, they began batoning us. They broke a few hands of young people. Uh, they maced a young girl. These are minors, mind you. Uh, there were several elders, including myself and others, uh, that were assaulted by them. And we literally had to run to the creek it reminded us all after we were talking about the days when George Custer would bring out his Gatlin gun and spray us down and in order for us to survive we had to run to the rivers and to get into the water and be uh, be silent and hide out as they were massacring us and that's exactly what we saw we saw those same very tactics being applied on all of us when we first started walking away, the first people that they grabbed were the native activists. So we, I, myself, and my partner were pushed into the center of the circle because we were in part leading the prayer. And uh, we were pushed into the center of the circle and the rest of the non-Indian people protected us from getting mazed and from, from getting beat by the police. Uh, when, they, when the police saw that, they had no regard for any life at that point and, and became in 